Welcome back. Hillary Clinton widely viewed as a Democratic frontrunner in 2016, but some on the left are floating an alternative. Could a freshman senator once again derail her presidential ambitions? Well, she's widely considered to be the Democratic frontrunner for president in 2016, but Hillary Clinton's coronation is apparently not sitting well with everyone on the left. The cover story in this week's New Republic touts Wall Street scourge Elizabeth Warren as, quote, Hillary's nightmare and wonders if the soul of the Democratic Party really lies with a freshman senator from Massachusetts. We're back with Kim Strassel and Wall Street Journal editorial board member Mary Kissel also joins us. So, Kim, uh, start with you. What's behind the, uh, the, the Warren boomlet? So the argument in the New Republic is, if you go back and look through the history of the Democratic Party, there's always these flashes of enthusiasm for these these populist, anti-Wall Street candidates. Uh, some of them, most of them have always flamed out because they do tend to appeal to only a small part of the base. Uh, campuses and, and white liberal, cultural liberals, but not necessarily with like uh, minorities or the mm -hmm. working poor. Um, their argument, New Republic argument, is that that has changed the culmination the combination of the 2008 financial crisis and Barack Obama as president has shifted the party. They are now ready and eager for a candidate like Warren. Certain things like the the, the Bill de Blasio election in New York uh, right, prove that. And so, uh, and this is where the party should be. Uh, where, where, what, what specific positions do you think Warren has uh, supported? Uh, really? get these uh, uh, left-wingers uh, uh, excited. Well, she, as Kim says, she's an economic populist. She's basically a single-issue candidate if she runs for president. She's all about consumer protection. If you look at her record in the Senate, well, she tanked... Isn't that popular? Well, it, look, it, it's popular here in New York, as Kim said, with Bill de Blasio, but I'm not so sure it's, po it's popular out in the middle class, which is really suffering right now. I'm not sure they feel like they need protection from the banks. I think they just want a job. But isn't it also income redistribution? I mean, she's 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 a, she she sports the whole kind of liberal sure. uh, 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 economic agenda. Sure, she does, but she's also a, a political novice. She also has no foreign policy experience, right? Um, and I think she might play well to the Harvard campus, um, but I'm not sure that she plays very well to the rest of the country. I mean, look, if you're a Republican, you might be all for Elizabeth Warren uh, for president. It might be the best thing that happens. Well, to that's the Republican what some Republican Party. that's what some Republicans said about Barack Obama too, and that 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 hasn't been an experience a lot of. Them want to uh, repeat. What is it about Warren's record? What's she done in the Senate? She's she's now been in, in the, the Senate. Se couple, you know, you, you sure, she's she wants uh, tighter enforcement uh, over financial institutions. She really wants to put the thumb of the regulators on the banks, the insurance companies, other financial institutions. She obviously started the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau. She's a big protector of that uh, completely unconstitutional agency that has no checks and balances. Um, and she also wants financial parties to declare guilt when they. In, enter into settlements with the SEC. Now, these are very inside Washington kinds of things. Right. I mean, if you ask uh, somebody in the rest of the country, do you know who Mary Jo White is and do you care? She's I'm not the head sure of the, 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 the Securities and Exchange I'm Commission. not sure they would say, look, is Occupy Wall Street as important uh, today as it was three years ago? But I don't she's, think But so. she's also been a, a thorn in the side of the Obama administration. I mean, she helped to, to, to scuttle the, the nomination the president wanted to make of Larry Summers, former Treasury Secretary, as head of the Federal Reserve. She organized that uh, that insurgency, right? Yep, a absolutely she did. She's also got uh, a, a very great fundraising operation going. She mm -hmm. raised more than $40 million when she ran for Senate last year. That is formidable. Um, but again, I, you know, it may play well here in New York City, uh, but I'm just not sure that she's going to get the kind of you know, African-American, Hispanic, uh, working-class white community that she'd need to, to get. What do you think the chances are that Hillary Clinton's going to run, Kim? You think they're pretty good? I think they're very good, and she's, you know, what Mary just said, look, Hillary Clinton's base are minorities, uh, the working class, blue-collar workers, they almost allowed her to succeed against Barack Obama. And the thing I think that the problem that Warren has is that, you know, to, the economic populism argument has a certain appeal, but with that, as was mentioned, comes a real liberalism. And that's actually been a problem for the Democratic Party in national elections in, in recent, like the 2010 elections, right. it was an enormous rebuke of the first two years of the Obama administration. So that's uh, a problem. All right. This could be fun uh, <laughs> watching this. We have to take one more.